For anyone seeking variety in a Caribbean destination, St. Martin is the ticket. The island features two distinct cultures. The south is a territory of the Netherlands, the north a territory of France. But good news, travel between the two sides is unrestricted. Julia and Steve Rothschild are repeat visitors from Worcester, Mass. Julia, what do you love about this island? I love the European feel of the island. I love to hear different dialects, meeting people from other countries. The Dutch side is a little bit more hustle and bustle. We love the remoteness on the French side, the village feel. It's like being in a French village, but it's in the Caribbean. St. Martin is only 37 square miles, but it offers 37 different beaches, all of them open to the public, and all with their own unique charm. The watchword again, variety. St. Martin's east coast is on the Atlantic and offers great wave action. The west coast faces the calm Caribbean Sea. But one west coast beach is anything but calm. Maho Beach is not to be missed because of the show that goes on here all day, every day. About every 20 minutes, jumbo jets and private planes make their final approach to the main airport. The aircraft flying so low, it seems they might just land on the beach. Crowds can't get enough of the thrill. On the south side of the island, the Dutch side, the quiet waters of Little Bay, home to the DV Little Bay Resort, this is where the beloved Dutch Queen Maxima and her family stay when visiting St. Martin. Manager Joan Sampson. The resort was built in the 60s and uh, opened uh, late 60s, early 70s. It's actually the first resort on the island. And still considered one of the best with its three restaurants, three pools, and of course the pristine beach. It is a very popular beach also among the locals for the fact that it's pretty calm and the children will be able to play in the water without too much looking after. And it bears the prestigious blue flag for its environmental standards, the only beach on St. Martin so honored. Getting on or in the water, choices galore at DV, all open to the public. This is what they call helmet diving. It allows people of all ages, even children, to go on underwater excursions without the special training required for scuba diving. For a completely different kind of plunge, you come here to the Marigot Marketplace on the French side. It is the place for souvenirs. Marigot is the capital of French St. Martin, and it bustles with crowds from the many cruise ships that come to port. The market is always a hit. The price is low on everything, including toys, clothing, jewelry, home decor, and spices. Here I sell spices, local spices like jam, hot sauce, we have honey, coconut oil, yeah, vanilla beans. She is known simply as Sandy the Spice Lady. Sandy sells dozens of Caribbean spices, which can turn any dish you make back home into an island feast. You could use like magic spice, which is good for the meat, for the chicken and pork, if you're gonna barbecue, stew, bake, grill. And we also have one for the fish as well, called fish spice. Fish spice. Yes. All those containers, hand painted by Sandy herself. What sells it? Does it the, do the spices sell themselves or do the, uh, does the artwork help a little bit? The artwork does help huh. because people, when they choose, like for example, a, a jam, they will look for the, the painting, which picture they prefer most. So yes, I would say the painting does make a difference. 15 minutes north of Marigot, the village of Grand Cas and its famous Lolo's, open air barbecues where those Caribbean spices permeate the air. We found ourselves at Sky's the Limit, a Lolo under the joyous management of grill master and chef Wade Gomes. Here at Sky's the Limit, we give all the fresh, fresh ingredients out, like the taste of the, our, our spices and our herbs and, and how we grill, grill it. We just don't only smoke it, we, we, we put our Caribbean in it, you know? Is there a specialty, like if somebody comes and you want them to really get that, what would you say they should order? I would recommend the, the, the ribs, one of the ribs, the ribs are very good. Because what we did with our smoker, what we do, we have three levels of smoke. We have the under level, when we hit it, they heat. Then we have the second level, we cooked it, and then the third level, we baked it. Wow. 
Wow. And then it just comes out the bone. I, I tell you, you will come back for more. To say Gomes is proud of his food and his very special grill is an understatement. And you love it. Oh, 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 oh. I'm obsessed over my grill. <laughs> yes, that's something I, I love. I love grilling. I, I, if I could stand up in the grill in the night and just keep grilling, I, I'll be here. Because I want to be the best ever in the world. Not in St. Martin, but in the world. And since Anthony visited St. Martin, the Category 5 Hurricane Irma struck and caused widespread damage across the island. Many resorts and tourist attractions have been rebuilt and are back up and running. But no surprise, the COVID-19 pandemic has been another difficult time for the tourism industry on St. Martin and throughout the Caribbean. Coming up, kicking back in Barbados.